Hey, gorgeous ones. Oh my God, this lighting is intense. I apologize, but I didn't know what, I, I just had to go with this lighting. I just, so hey, gorgeous ones. Hey, gorgeous ones. I know the lighting is a little intense, but I wanted to get this shot, my stash review done. So here's what I'm going to say is in reference to this. Now, I should have done it at the beginning of May. Okay, but I didn't. Okay, because I didn't even do a shot my stash for May. And the reason why is because April, I was so sick. You know, for most of the month, I had such a bad flu that I really wasn't wearing a lot of makeup. So I didn't get to use the stuff that I had in my April stash. So I kind of used them through May. And now I wanted to talk about them. And I have some things to say. So this is all about the face. I'm not talking about eyes because it's only a few things about eyes that I'm going to go over and talk about. But I'm going to talk about them in a different video. But here's my shop my stash review for the beginning of the year. If you would like to find out about some primers, concealers, foundations, powders, face products, stay tuned. Woo child. Okay. All right. So let's get started on the Shop My Stash review because there's no point in me doing this and then not saying anything about it. So that's why I'm going to wait every three months or so and then I'm going to go over the products that I've used. So let's begin with primers. So let's talk about some of the primers I use and some thoughts on them. All right. So here are the ordinary primers. The High Spreadability Fluid Primer and the High Adherent Silicone Primer. Now, these are, this one, of course, is silicon, so it's more about, you know, surface smoothing and blurring and everything, and it works well. This one is, is a more of a, so this one, ha, of course, is a fluid, so it's a little different, but it does, it does um, blur the pores not as well as, of course, the silicone one. Now, what I'm going to say is, these are fine. They're not something that I'm like, oh my God, they've changed my life. But these are good primers, and for the price, they're, you know, they're fine. You know, considering they're like about $5 a piece, or maybe under 5 I can't remember the pricing. I guess I have to put that up in here. Um, then they're worth it. You know, they're not bad. They're not bad primers. Are they like, oh my God, you, you these are awesome? No. But... If you need a primer, and now let me say this, they do not matte at all. So they will blur. They have no, they do not matte. So if you need a matting primer, do not get these. But if you just want a little blurring, you know, the surface to be done, boom. I don't know what's going on with my lighting is really off today. I don't know what's going on. So please forgive it because I look super washed out. I know. So just before y'all say something, just let it go. I might have to saturate this because this is a mess. Okay, anyway. Because I'm learning how to do those things. Next up is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Now, I received this in a BoxyCharm. I like it. Would I buy this one? No. I would probably buy the Pores No More, the matte one. Because I prefer matte um, primers primarily. I do... But it does do what it does. It says it's a luminizer, but it's not too much. Now, let me say that. And it does... Um, you know blur the pores now let me say so if you were looking for something like that this is a great product if you're looking for matte no all right next up is the one heck of a blot by soap and glory now i was hearing about this from so many people kathleen lights i think i heard young wild and polished i mean these are like oh my god this is the best thing ever eh. I don't know. It didn't. I, it didn't do anything like earth shattering for me. Like there are certain primers when I put them on, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like the Tarte Poreless, that baby works. Poreless and matte. But this was okay. I mean, I don't get the hype around it. Um, yeah, it's all right. Now, of course, I love my Smashbox, and this is the Radiance one. You can't go wrong with a with the with a Smashbox photo finish one. So as long as you find the one that you like, you will be doing good. And I wanted this one because this isn't the one with hyaluronic acid. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Uh, there's one. Yeah, it has hyaluronic acid in it, which you know we need, and it does give you a nice radiance. But it also does what Smashbox do does. It, you know, it hydrates a little bit and it also gives you perfects and enhances just like any Smashbox does. Next up is the Milk Blur Stick. Let me say this. It works. 
it does blur and it does mattify you i just don't like the delivery of it it's so hard to deal with you know it kind of tugs on the skin but if you know you got to kind of warm it up and then you get it on now it does do what it says it does it blurs the skin and it does mat mattify you but I just think it's a little harsh on the skin to a certain extent. I'm still going to use it because like this is a good one to like use in conjunction with one of these. So like if you want, like especially with this one. So um, it's like extra pores no more though. But I can do this and then put this on the rest of and I'll have it. So like this is good in the T-zone. I would only use it in the T-zone and then put on another primer over it. But that's just me being extra. Just so you know all right next up is is uh foundations now i did try quite a few foundations and some of them i had already thought i loved and now i found out no you don't and so here's let's let's just talk about a few the wet and wild photo focus foundation now i have been saying this is a great foundation and for 4.99 it is a good foundation but now that i've tried other drugstore brands it's not doing it the same way for me and i'm gonna tell you why it's a good foundation but what it does is that it kind of lays on your skin whereas my um uh, fit me poreless my maybelline Pore fit me uh matte and poreless and my covergirl healthy elixir they kind of they melt more into your skin where this kind of lays on top of it so it doesn't it doesn't wear well. It looks good in the beginning, but it doesn't wear well. That's the problem with it. All right, next up is the Ordinary Full Coverage Foundation. No, no. Let me tell you why. This, now it's only $5 or $6.90, so it's an extremely affordable foundation. Extremely. I think the color selection is decent because they have pink tones, they have yellow undertones. They have a decent color selection. The problem is, is that this looks really good on your face when you first put it on. But I promise you, within an hour or two, it breaks up. It starts looking bad on your skin. And so at first, I was like, ooh, I love this stuff. And then I really started looking at my skin afterwards. And it was like, mm-mm, no, get rid of it, mm-mm. Um, next up is the It Cosmetic CC Creams. No, they are too freaking oily. No, these are, now, let me say, the coverage is great. When they say the coverage, the coverage is awesome. These do, these do cover like foundation. However, they break up and get oily so quick like this. It's like my, no, my nose looked like an oil slick it happened. It looked like you could just take your hand and just do like this and go fry, fry some eggs with the oil off of my, my nose. So no thank you to that. No. Now, the Maybelline uh, Super Stay Foundation, this is awesome and let me tell you this is for real full coverage i don't do a lot of full coverage for, you know I'm, a, I'm more of a medium coverage but if you want a full coverage you don't want to spend that much money baby go get these super stays i think like one pump covered my face and a medium two pumps you are straight full coverage you know a pump and a half you are straight full and it was pretty full coverage with one pump I think the shade range that I think they have a decent shade range. I know they're probably going to add more because Maybelline is good for having about 30 to 40 of them. So here's this. Boom. That's that. So if so, this is awesome. And it and it plays well on the skin. Let me say that it plays well and awesome. I tried this, this Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Foundation. Man, you need to just this is no, no, it's terrible on the skin it's terrible first off it's super thick it's oh it's terrible i tried to use it no i wore one good time it was just super thick on the skin it was just terrible not at all don't want it stay away from it keep it away no and then I used my Lancome Tint Edol, and I bought this a while ago, and I bought it because I've heard so many people on YouTube say, oh my God, this is just like one of the best, this is like people's holy grail foundation. It looked terrible on me. Now, let me say, I am used to my Ultra, my Makeup Forever Ultra HD, which looks like flawless on my skin. 
I put this on and I was like, what's going on with my skin? I look like I had bumps all over. It was like anything that was a little issue was accentuated. It was just like anything, any little thing. It was no. So the Lancome Tinty Doll is not a good look for me. Not a good look for me at all. Now let's talk concealers. I did a lot of concealers in the last few months. And yeah. All right, so let's go. The It Cosmetic Bye Bye Under Eye. No, it does not look good on me. It's way too thick. Now, let me say, whenever I do my under eyes, I always prep either with a, um, a, a under eye primer or um, oil to like hydrate. This stuff is so dry. Yes, it covers everything. Now, that it does. However, you will any it will accentuate every line you have it will it will make you look like you are about 110 years old and you have been in the sun for 90 of those years it is it's no no mm -mm, no mm -mm. color pop the color pop no filter concealer let me just say this i'm gonna say this for real y'all i you know a lot of times when they talk about these concealers these are younger women they don't have the issues that we have and i don't have bad under eyes let me say that i don't have bad under eyes but no this was another one that accentuated everything under my eyes it's way too dry i'm gonna say it when you get to a certain age unless you are oily if you are if you are not super oily you're going to have drier under eyes. Not that they're dry. Like mine aren't dry, but they're normal. And so they're not as oily. So because of that, if you have that, a lot of these do not work because they're not hydrating enough. You need something that's that's a little, has more slip to it. These are very thick. Thick concealers do not look good when you're our age, when you're 40 plus because it's just caking on and that's not a good look. No, we need it to be a nice, you know, a nice full coverage, but enough um, hydrating enough so that it melts with the skin. And let me say this. Listen, I got under eye lines, so there's always going to be some creasing. So I don't think that, you know, I don't trip on some creasing over the day. But when I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, what's going on with my under eye? Then it's a problem. Then it's a problem. And that's one of those problems. Now, of course, the Tarte Shape Tape. I tried, I tried to figure out, okay, everybody loves this. Why don't I love it? I use very small amounts of it because I did find out you cannot use a lot of it. Not like they do on YouTube because they be painting this shit on. You do not need that much of it. First off, you need a couple of little dots. But it just does not play well with my under eyes. It does not. It does not. It does, it does not. However, it's a great base for my uh, it's a good eye eyelid primer that works wonderfully for me i love it as my eyelid primer so i'm going to use this up as an eyelid primer maybe i use that color pop after i'm done because no uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. now this i absolutely absolutely did i say absolutely all right so these i like the bh cosmetic studio pro total coverage concealers reason why i like them is because they are creamier you know they're not as dry so they're creamier consistency the only thing i don't like is i do not like this applicator this applicator sucks you do not need a lot of it so i've wasted quite a bit because you just need a little dot of it and then it really does cover and then once you set it it ain't it's, it's it ain't going nowhere the wet n wild photo focus found it, uh concealer right here I thought I liked it, y'all, and it does look good for a few hours, but it breaks up ugly. So if you're just going to be like, I can use this for like doing this, like doing a video. But if I'm going out, I'm going to be out all day, this is not a good concealer to wear every day. It's like, no, no, no. Now, the Revlon Youth, Youth FX Fill and Blur Concealer. This I actually like. It reminds me, it's just because, and I think I like it because it's similar to the Maybelline Age Rewind. However, it costs more than the Maybelline Age Rewind. So, if I'm going to use one of these, and I got this for free, um, Ulta sent it as a gift, 
I will go get the Adrian Rewind. But this is actually a very good concealer. It does fill in blur and it does last all day. So this is a decent one if you if you just like Revlon products. Next up is a powder. Where is it at? Where the damn powder at? Laura Mercier. So I want to try. I haven't really, really used my pressed powders yet. So I'm not going to talk about them. I'm going to use them more this summer. So I have my Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier, darling. Now, let me say, it's a good powder. It, it is as good as everyone says it is. However, I still like my Fit Me powder. I like my Cody Airspun. So do I feel like I need to spend the money on Laura Mercier? No, because I have alternatives that are much less expensive. Now, I do want to try some other setting powders. So I will say the Laura Mercier is a great setting powder, but it's just like, no, I don't necessarily need it, need it where I'm going to spend buy the big thing of it. So I'm glad I bought the little one to try because I don't need the big one. All right, so next up is the other face products. Let's start out with bronzers. And, I, and I'm going to do face palettes last, so I'm going to do single products now. So I'm going to go over some single products now. The NYX Matte Bronzer, this one I have is in deep tan. I like it. I really do. I really do. I didn't know I was going to like it as much as I do, but I really do. This is like a great, affordable one. Now, let me just say this for me, my skin color, I can do with something that's a little orangier because, um, you know, because of the way my skin is, I can get away with that. So it looks good on me and it doesn't go muddy on me. So I can get away with this one. It's gorgeous on. Then I have this Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer in Dark to Deep. It's so pretty on. It's got a slight sheen, but not a lot. Just enough to give you a nice little look like that. But this is a really good bronzer. I love it. All right, next up is blush. And I'm only going to talk about one. No, two. Two. Where's the other one? I have two. Okay, two. Ah, yeah, I'm about to lose it. Okay, two. So here's the first one. This is the Color Icon by Wet n Wild. This is... And mellow wine everybody talks about pearlescent pink but this is actually my favorite and the reason why i like it is because it's a really pretty you know beautiful as you can see peachy color so this is the one that i really love and it's a it's a matte bron blush and I, I do tend to like really love matte blushes the next one i'm gonna talk about is this Lorac, and this is in coral crush now let me say this is you can find this on clearance you can find it at nordstrom rack and hold look you can actually i think uh, Lorac's um Lorac still has it on their site on clearance for like nine dollars or ten dollars but anyway this is this is very orgasm -y. you know it's got that peachy goldy vibe to it i absolutely love this blush it is so cute and if you can find it on sale you should get it because it's only ten dollars and i promise you it is it is so much like um orgasm it's ridiculous all right now highlighters now let me first talk about the elf bait highlighters no they're not worth it i mean i like them they're doable but they're not worth it the best one they have is this one which is apricot glow which is this one because you actually don't have to scratch the surface but it's actually good now so they're okay um I, like for instance the wet and wild ones if you're gonna go buy an inexpensive one get the wet and wild ones the the um the Mega Glow highlighters are so much better than these Elf Baked ones. So if you're gonna, if it's between the two of them, go get those. Much, much better. Uh, next up is the Jouer the ones that I have. The small ones, I like Jouer's formula. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. Jouer makes a really nice, really nice highlighter. I have um, Topaz, Citrine, and Rose Quartz. So I don't need to get anything bigger than this, even though I am kind of thinking about buying this new one they have out. I don't know yet. But these are so nice. They're buttery. They're soft. They do not accentuate texture. They're not glittery. They're so beautiful on the skin. So those are worth it. Then I have this one from Becca. This is the Light Chaser Highlighter. And this is in Champagne Flashes Bellini. The reason why I'm showing this to you is because you can still get this half price at Sephora. Look on the sale site, sale section. And um, I'm going to say it's okay. 
for you know what it's better because i paid half if you pay in half price the color is beautiful but this the the formulation isn't the same as the as the traditional becca highlighters which are very creamy which are very soft this is a little grittier i mean the color is gorgeous though i mean the color is beautiful but if you're looking for that same, and it's a smaller one, so that's why it's worth $17. But if you're looking for the same formulation, the same thing, you're not going to get it from this. But at $17, it's really nice because I'm might i thinking about ordering it one more because it's really nice. All right, next up, face palettes. So here's the Cover FX um, Perfect Highlighting Palette that I got over the, summer, over the Christmas time. Now, they do not have this one out. But they have one similar to this. Now, let me just tell you how silly I am. I just figured out that they have the names of them on the back. So, I, I'm going to have to check. Because I think of some of these are still available in the new new one that they have. So, I'm going to check that. But anyway, they're nice. Um, I wouldn't necessarily... I think I, I got these for like $39. For $39 for six, they're a good deal. Um do i need them no but you know what they have a good shade range and to be quite honest like unless you're really going to be wearing at least two or three of these it's not worth it but i do like um i do like this one which is rose gold i use uh, i think i use blossom and i've used gilded a lot so these are really pretty on you know they they wear well so they're nice. They're nice. It was a good it was a good deal. A good buy. Ah, good buy. All right. Now my cheek parade. This is my benefit cheek parade that I got last year, and this has you know Rockatour, California, Hula, Hula Light. Now let me tell you, I love this thing because I do love. I like Hula. I don't know if people said that the consistency wasn't that great. I've had absolutely no problems with them. They wear well, and I had Hula out. You know, regular Hula the hula works just the same now what i will say they have a new one that just came out and i promise you i would get that one because i don't i think they've taken one of these out like they've either taken the hula light out or the dandelion and put in the new one the gold rush and i think it's still rockateur i have to check but if it's the way i think it is that's a good one to get for 59 dollars because the, i'm telling you Hula is a good bronzer. If it's a good color for you, it's a great bronzer. And then just the three pans alone of uh, of these are worth it because, the, you know, they charge like 20 some dollars for these. And these are full size. So if you're just getting it from the blush, you've already made your money. You know, you've already done good. Because Rockateur and California are awesome. Now, I have this Narcissist one. Now, now, this is a nice palette. I think it's still available at Ulta. But I ain't gonna lie, I got it when it was half price, so it was it's even more awesome. And it has Laguna in it, which is what I wanted. And I do like Laguna. I still want to try Casino because it's a little bit darker. But you know, Laguna is nice, and I really like these two um, blushes right here. I said I'm gonna try this highlighter finally because I was playing when I was like, oh, this might be a cute little because um, from what I can see on it. Let me see where I can do this at. Um, you know, it's a nice, pretty pink and it's a very sheer pink so it's like barely there you know it'll be one of those barely there kind of highlighter blushy kind of vibes and that would be kind of cute in the summertime so it's like a pink but it's a really sheer pink so i might try this with a tan it might look kind of cute so we'll see next up is this ofra um palette it's a blush palette that I got, and I don't think it's available right now. Or it might be on the Ofra site. Okay, if you are somebody like me who likes a lot of blushes and everything, this is a good one because it has a lot of, it's, the shade range is really good. And there's enough colors that you can find things that you can wear. So this is a really good palette. Um, I, they're very highly pigmented though, so be very careful with them. Especially like this bright pink, baby, you could make yourself look like Clown Central. You could look like, you know, Bozo the Clown. You could look like, you know, Clarabelle the Clown with this on. So be careful. I tend to use this one and this one a lot because I like those colors. And then some of these can actually double in as like contours, depending, not this one. But like this one could definitely be a contour, you know, a um, bronzer or something. 
So, um, is it worth the $59? No, but I use my points anyway and got 20% off. So it worked out for me, but I mean, I like, I like some of them. So it's cool. Um, then finally the BH cosmetic spotlight palette. <sighs> These are really nice. Um, will I wear them a lot? No, because I tend not to, I tend to forget I have it, but it's a really nice palette. These are really nice. They're very creamy. They're, they don't accentuate your texture. It's a really, and I will say this, I like it because it's not too light and it's not too dark. Cause sometimes, you know, some of them will have a too dark or bronzer, bronzer, but this is a really good color for everybody. So if you're light, you can make it work. If you're medium, you can make it work. If you're dark, you, there's some colors in here that you can work with. So for the price, it's awesome. Because I think this reach is normally $16 and you know you can get it on sale with BH Cosmetics. So it's worth the price. It really is. It really is. All right. So that is it for my Shop Your Stash review. I know this is long as fuck, but I'm sorry. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts on these products or if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments. And if you made it this far and you're brand new, the only polite thing to do on your way out is to hit the subscribe button because, you know, you spent the time in my YouTube channel. It's my little YouTube home. And, you know, it's just polite going on and hanging out with me. So it's your Lulu. May you have a great day and may life treat you kind. Bye-bye.